board. Oh, somewhere. Yeah, you have I a board, board autograph by, him. by, yeah, him. by yeah. Hacksaw. That's I'm sure he'll cool. be back again this year for the Bacon Festival. <laughs> he can't stay away. I'm hoping. It is 840. Welcome back to CW Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here. And Stivers Ford Lincoln downright proud to salute great organizations in town. Yeah, we want to talk about uh, a great place that we're always telling you to visit, especially with that new exhibit all about Iowa. Uh, Michael Moraine here not only to talk of and remind mm -hmm. us of what's happening at uh, the State Historical Building, but also a new exhibit. Yeah, um, in the interest of full disclosure, though, we should we should point out that r during the break they were arguing over <laughs> is it Duggan or, or Dugan? Dugan. Yeah. I couldn't even Which remember. Which one is it, folks? Hexa, he's, he's, Jimmy, he's been on this program. Hexa, Jimmy <laughs> Dugan, Hexa, Jimmy Duggan. I think it's Dugan. Send us a message and let us know how to say it. Is it I don't know. Doug as in D-O-U-G Duggan or Dugan? I really don't think you can go wrong. Okay, <laughs> see, I'm getting both. I'm getting I'm getting Doug in my ear. Oh. I think you should wrestle yeah. it out. Okay. I think you should wrestle it All out. We'll do that. Cage match later. At the State Historical Society, we are sticklers for the truth. <laughs> so I want you to get to the bottom. We of will find out, and then right. we, we will share it with you. Maybe Jackie let you borrow yes. her board and put yes. it on display. Good. Okay, Good. her two by four. We'll take it. Okay, we'll perfect. take it. But you have some really cool stuff over we there. We sure do. Um, last month we opened um, a new exhibit called Iowa History 101. Yeah, people which, are loving that. Yeah, we've gotten a really good response. We, our curative, our curatorial team got together and they decided, w they asked themselves, what are the basic stories that every Iowan should know? What are the things that define us as Iowans and make us different than the folks in Illinois and those clowns up in Minnesota and <laughs> our neighbors in Missouri? What makes us Iowan? Mm -hmm. So there's some really cool artifacts in the exhibit um, that it's, it's really just like crawling up in your grandparents' attic. Mm -hmm. um, there's just interesting artifacts and cool stuff. Um, so there's a traditional exhibit, the traditional gallery exhibit with right. historic artifacts. And then for the first time in the museum's history, we've designed a gallery for kids, for kids 10 and under. Um, and they can get their hands dirty a little bit. They can sit on a historic tractor and take a photo. They can play um, with model trains. We have geodes that they can inspect with um, magnifying glasses. They can see historic toys that their grandparents or great grandparents might have played with. Yeah, there you um, go. There's some of the, the yeah. toys here that you can take a look at. There's really, there's really cool stuff, and it's great, especially in the winter when families are just antsy to get out of the house a little bit. Um, hey. So the museum, the admission is always free. So just wander in if you have a spare hour, half hour even, um, and come with your kids and learn a little bit about Iowa history. We've had a great response. We've also launched a, a new membership club called Goldie's Kids Club. So um, kids, if, if they're interested in Iowa history or if you want to bring them to the museum, bring them in and there are special activities for Goldie's, Goldie's friends. Um, Goldie is the goldfinch. I was going to say, right. in relation to the goldfinch, exactly. which by the way is the? It's the state bird. State bird. You're on the ball. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, sign up for that on Tuesdays and Friday afternoons. Um, our staff will be leading activities for kids. So if you have time, come on in and they can they can do some sort of activity and learn a little bit about Iowa history. So nice. there's good stuff going on. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I guess, um, we were opening programs for really all ages. Um, this Thursday, this Thursday afternoon from 5.30 to 7.30, we're launching our first History on the Rocks series. Oh, I like the sound of yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> you know where we're going. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it's targeted for young adults, um, but anybody is welcome, anybody over 18. You can get in at 18. If you want to drink, you have to be 21, of course, so bring a photo ID. But um, it's designed to learn a little bit of history, and um, each will offer programs probably quarterly. So every few months, there will be a new activity. This first one was inspired by the Iowa Test of Basic Skills. So everybody... Oh, <laughs> no. Are you <laughs> serious? Yes. Everybody has fond memories of oh. the little bubble sheets. Um, but we're doing a trivia. We're doing a round of trivia um, so you and your friends can come and um, sort of either <laughs> not the ACT test right okay. no, no okay. Uh, okay the Iowa test of basic yeah. skills is one of one of the great things that Iowans have exported yes, to they uh, have. the rest of the state we knew about this in Chicago I yeah that. the rest yep. of the country no <laughs> question about that yeah. so all of the country has fond memories of <laughs> Iowa but we have some trivia um there will be a, a round of, of a scavenger hunt in the middle to go through our gallery and pe oh, nice. you can get bonus points um, by learning stuff from the exhibit um, so that that should be fun. And this morning, just as a taste for our viewers, um, we have a couple of trivia questions. Uh oh, so if you're more ready. trivia on this Tuesday. Okay, let's do it. I'll hit you it. with three trivia questions. Okay, okay. Number because one, we have one that's currently going on right now too. So hopefully we, we can uh, tie this in. Oh, so go ahead. Great. No, go ahead. Go great. Ahead. Um, th the first the first governor, Iowa's first governor, was Robert Lucas. Um, 
can you name They named the building after him. Okay. Yes, exactly, good. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> his wife, so I was first first lady, was named, I'll give you three choices. Okay. Charity, patience, or friendly? I'm gonna go with the least obvious friendly. You're right. Really? really? You are right. Yeah. Friendly. Friendly Lucas friendly. was our first first lady. Was so she? This Iowa nice really? thing goes way, way back. Yeah, I say she was then. Uh, yeah. I don't know if she personally was. Maybe she was nasty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, friendly and Lucas was our first nasty. first lady. Friendly. Okay. Friendly. Never would have thought of that. Uh, okay. Question number two. So okay. far, you're okay. one and okay. one and zero. Oh. Okay. Lose, Question lose number two. Um, there are a bunch of counties that are named for presidents. Can, right. Can you name three of them? Washington. There's one. Um, Hamilton. Clinton. Washington. Clinton counts. I, I mean, President uh, Clinton came after the county was named. But, so it's still named. But we'll, we'll take we'll, we'll take, take it. it. Okay. Hamilton's out. Sorry, Hamilton okay. was never president. Never president. No. As soon as I said that, I he went, should he have been. He, he should have been. been Adams. Adams. The oh. full list is Adams, Buchanan, Jackson, Jefferson, Harrison, Madison, Monroe, Polk, Taylor, Van Buren, Washington, and Clinton. Mm -hmm. So 12 if you count Clinton. Wow. <laughs> See, we didn't even think about Polk and we're here. Yeah. yeah. We're standing right smack dab in the middle of it. And then the third question comes from, um, it's a tie-in to current events. What is Iowa's tie to the Ringling, Ringling Brothers Circus that just closed? Oh, There's I've a read, bunch of them. I read yeah. the article. Yeah. Name one. The, Name I, a good tie. Uh, I read the article a in the register. A sucker is born every moment. <laughs> yeah. A sucker is born every minute. I'm serious. Came from an Iowan. Did you know that? I did not. I yes. thought it was P.T. Barnum. Mm? It wasn't, no, no. It was he got else? credit for it, but it was right. from an Iowan who said that. That's the mark of a good showman, That's somebody true. who steals somebody mm -hmm. else's idea. <laughs> Any guesses? I'll, I mean, I'll give you. I'll. So you're cleared. You. you okay, we're clear. You succeeded I, I, all three. I'm gonna clearly, give you one. I'm gonna give you one too. I when clearly, you get done. I'm not good at this. The Ringling Brothers were born in McGregor. All, oh yeah. All five of them. They were born in McGregor. Really? You can visit their birthplace. I think early on they moved to Wisconsin, but they're Iowans by birth, so okay. we can claim that's the, the original tie. The greatest show, show on, on earth. earth. There it is. Came from an Iowa. Translation. So, so can you create teams, or is this an individual uh, oh, come, trivia? Yes. Come with contest. your friends, or if you just show up, you can buddy up with other people who are there. So yes, it won't be like the ITBS <laughs> where you can't <laughs> copy off of your neighbor. Look, I'm gonna give you one now. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Guy. Okay. That's fair. The translation of the word. Iowa Oof. means Hawkeye, mm -mm. the Sleepy Ones, mm, or Beautiful Land. Beautiful Land. No, that was a marketing what marketing strategy. Sleepy Ones. Sleepy oh. ones. If you trace it all back to the French derivative and go back and, right. and break it all down, that's what it translates on. I thought it was an early Native American term for you make me smile. <laughs> Fields of opportunity. Friendly. That's what it means. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, so a lot of things going on over there. So, uh, so much when can people on. come out? Uh, come out this Thursday for the History on the Rocks event for um, for that trivia. Um, Tuesdays and Friday afternoons is Goldie's Kids Club activities. Um, but other than that, just come out anytime. The museum's open. Admission is free, so you don't have to see everything all at once. Um, and find all of the details at iowaculture.gov. There you go. And you have a, a brand new exhibit that uh, features a wonderful artist from Orange City as well. Yes. Um, we also work with the Iowa Arts Council. The Department of Cultural Affairs oversees the Iowa Arts Council. Um, and one of the new Iowa Arts Council fellows is a woman named Yoon Shin, who teaches at Northwestern College up in Northwest there she Iowa. Is. Yep. And she, um, she does these really interesting, um, most of them are drawings. Um, and sh she repeats uh, signatures or autographs from her family um, to sort of uh, echo embroidery, but it's just a drawing and she overlaps it. So you, ha you really have to look closely to see the actual signature because it just layers over, over and over. Um, but the new exhibit is, as far as I know, the first exhibit in the state law library in the state capitol. I don't know if you've been in this room, but it's the room with the st spiral staircases. Okay. It's okay. really oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a magnificent room. Just the architecture of it, um, and Yun Shin's. You can see them there on the end caps of the shelves. Okay. Um, and so they they invite a closer look. So Got it. Um, we're hoping that the the lawmakers or the lobbyists, when they have a little downtime, they don't have a lot of downtime right now. But if they have a moment, or visitors, just step into the state law li the state law library and take a breath, um, and. Take a look at Yun Shin's um, artwork. It's really cool. So this is the cool. first of a series. So I'm not sure who we will install next, 
Um, but if you have a moment, stop in and see what Iowans are creating. Well, Wonderful. you'll tell us who, who we're going to have next. We sure will. Okay, perfect. Good job, as always. Thank now, you. Now, if people want to find out more information about this, what's the easiest place to go to? All of the information, blogs, calendars, all of that is at iowaculture.gov. And Stivers Ford Lincoln, downright proud perfect. to salute your great organization. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We will be right phone back. Up on my trivia. And speaking of trivia, we have the second hour answer to the trivia question coming up next during Totally Serious News on KCWI.